This is Bonnie and I'm going to show you how I did this card. It's been very hot here the last couple of days. It's been so hot in my um, craft room working over the big lights. So I haven't really been doing a whole lot card making wise. But it's about 11 o'clock here, almost 12. And it's kind of cooler right now. So I thought, well, I'm going to do a quick card and um, get it ready for you guys for tomorrow. So let's get started. First thing to do is we're going to take a piece of scrap Whisper White and we're taking the stamp is from the new stamp sets and Stampin' Up! catalogs for the birds and I'm going to use this one right here. Now I just wanted to let you know in case you know you look at the stamp set and you think oh I won't use all those words that are underneath them or I wish they didn't have the sayings under them. Well, I'm going to show you a quick little tip on what you can do to hide the words if you don't want the words in your card. That So anyways I don't want that on my card so I'm going to just take a post-it note and I'm going to cover it up. Then I'm going to take my stays on ink and I'm going to go right over the stamp. I'm still getting everything covered with the stamp, but I'm not covering, getting those words, and I am not going to worry about having to have, when I clear that off, the words are, I will not have nothing on there. So when I go to stamp, there's no words. Isn't that pretty cool? So there's a quick little tip in case you guys didn't know. Now I'm going to take the wide oval, and I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to put it so that the bottom of this grass right here is all the way down on the bottom of this oval and I'm, I need to look at it a little closer for me so that it's kind of centered here so it's like that and then I'm going to punch it out well and I'm going to color it the colors that I'm going to use is I am going to be taking um, Pool Party then I am going to take um, Melon Mambo then I'm taking Daffodil Delight Um, forgot my melon mambo over here. Okay, then I'm going to take Tangerine Tango. Then Lucky Lime. Wrong end. <coughs> then I am taking, uh, what is this? Marina Mist. Pacific Point Tangerine for the beak. Then I took um, a gel pen and I kind of just blended the colors so it makes it like a really soft blue right there in the belly okay so while that's drying I'll show you the rest of the card we're going to take a standard eight and a half by uh, five and a half scored at four and a quarter then we're taking a piece of designer series paper. This is a retired piece of paper. It was in the celebration set. And 
then this piece is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm going to use the retired ticket punch and punch out the corners. I haven't ordered the new ticket punch they have, so I don't know if the new one would be able to do that because it's an actual ticket. It might, I don't know, I haven't tried it. I'm going to adhere this down. Now I want to show you how I got this onto here without leaving any marks or anything on the card. I took the Stampin' Up, um, I'm not sure the name of this, emboss it. I'll have it at the bottom of the page. But I lined it up. One thing you can do is take some dotto and put it on the back side, repositionable tape. And once you get it centered, oops, once you get it centered, you can push down and now it won't move on you when you're putting it through. I've taken some chipboard and um, I've just stacked a couple pieces together and I'm going to place this right over top of this. This chipboard is two, two inches by three inches and I'm going to put it right over top of it and then I'm for the sandwich as they call it. As the on tab one, no plate, just right on tab one, no plate, and then a top plastic plate. And then we're going to run it right through. And then you have it, just like that. This works awesome if you have a bigger card. So say I wanted to do um, in the center of this one, and I put this in here like this, but I didn't want the card, I'll put, say I put it in here like this, but if I run that through, I'm going to get these marks on the outside of this onto my paper. If you don't want that, which you don't, then you put this on here and run it through and it'll only do the embossing part. For this you probably really didn't, you could have just put it through because it's a smaller piece, but I wanted to show you what you could do if you wanted to do it on a bigger piece. Okay everybody, I'm back. I'm going to do I'm going to do a quick explanation on what I meant. I'm going to do a wrong and the right way that I meant with this so that you guys will understand. So, this would be I'm not per se saying it's wrong but it would leave marks. So you'd put it on tab one, put your mat in, you put your put your sandwich like this, you have this, and then you have this. So you're gonna put it all in here and we're gonna run it through. Okay, now see what it does? it's picking up on the camera. See how it leaves the ridge of the outside of this around your card? Well, I don't like that, so I don't want that in my card. So what I've done and what I've learned from other people, I'm not sure, you know, you guys might have seen this already. If you have, then you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put this in there. I'm placing it on tab one with no plastic, just on tab one. I've took this little two by three chipboard that I've made, put it on top, then I'm taking my plastic plate and I'm putting that on top. Now I'm going to run it through. Now when I take it off, See, the lines are not there, and that is perfectly in the center of your paper. So this is the one that you want, and this is the one with the lines in it. So that's what I was trying to explain in my previous video. 
So then again, I rounded the corners. And then I'm going to take and put, this will fit perfectly right inside there, our little bird painting. So we'll put him right inside. And we're gonna sit him aside for a minute. And we're gonna get out our stamp a jig And I wanna stamp my, emboss my hello friend here. So I think that looks good right there. I've already stamped it on there. The hello my friend comes out of the my friend stamp set, the hello. So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna take some Versamark, stamp it all over my stamp. Put the corner of this in the corner, stamp down. Take my coffee filter. Give it a couple good tips. Anna blow anything that you don't like. There you go. Done. Now I'm going to take some pop or Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to put them in the back. I'm going to rub off this repositionable tape before I forget. It's right about here. Now I had a ribbon. On the last one I didn't put a ribbon because my hello was up a little high. But on this one I am going to put a ribbon across there. So I'm just going to take and put some of across there. Run it right across. Get my scissors. Okay. And then I've just got a bunch of pearls that I'm trying to use up here. There you go, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.